Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical Ends. Welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild mod. Because as of right now, the modding community and the modding scene for Breath of the Wild is absolutely shooting up. Mods for this game started around about two months ago, but within the space of the past 30 days, this community has been going absolutely insane with the different amount of model swapping and texture mods that are currently available for this game. To my surprise, as I was flicking through the different amounts of mods that we currently have for Breath of the Wild as of right now, I actually managed to stumble across this one in particular, which is of course the Kingdom Key mod. So what's sitting right in front of us is the Kingdom Key, and uh, this is actually a texture or model swap of the Soldier's Broadsword for Breath of the Wild, so uh, if you were to of course install this mod, any Soldier's Broadsword that you're going to come across with in Breath of the Wild will be replaced with the Kingdom Key model. So yes, it takes on the exact same stats as the Soldier's Broadsword, which is 14 damage. But this is it right here, the model looks absolutely fantastic. I found this one just sitting in a bit of concrete right here, which uh, if you guys are looking for a Soldier's Broadsword ASAP, then yeah, make sure to go to this area. But the really cool thing about this mod is it has its own UI as well, so when you pick it up, it reads Kingdom Key with its own unique description. The description reads, a mysterious key-shaped sword that can only be wielded by its chosen masters. This keyblade is well crafted for slaying many types of enemies you may encounter. Now, the one complaint that I have towards this mod is the fact that Link actually holds the keyblade the wrong way up. As you guys can see, the teeth of the keyblade are facing upwards opposed to downwards like it's meant to within the video game. So that's one minor detail that I kind of picked out on that uh, should be changed, but I mean, all over this, this is is fantastic. This is absolutely crazy to see that mods like this are now currently being implemented into this game. Modding communities and player created content for games have always been something that really just fascinate me. I think I love the whole idea surrounding player created content and it's fantastic to see that for something like Breath of the Wild the community is really really starting to grow. Game Banana is actually the place where if you guys are interested in you know getting some Breath of the Wild mods and you want to sort of you know involve yourself in the modding scene for Breath of the Wilds, that is the place to go. You guys notice here that over the past 30 days, so many different model swap mods and texture mods, which for the most part are really the only available mods for this game so far, so many of those are being added on the daily, so you can see that this community is quickly growing. What's currently really big within the modding community as of right now for Breath of the Wild is actually swapping out Link's model with a different character's model. So for instance, right here, we have the Woody mod, which obviously switches out Link for Woody, so you can play as Woody. Hilarious shit right here, but I would absolutely love to see a mod where instead of actually playing as Link, it swaps it out for Sora's model. Just a personal request to any Breath of the Wild modders out there, that would be super sick. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see whereabouts this modding community goes. But however guys, that is all for today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link to the Keyblade mod for Breath of the Wild in the description down below. Big shout out to Y2K for of course creating this mod. Be sure to leave your guys' thoughts and opinions towards all of this in the comments section down below. And until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.